welcome back to my channel Lady T. My name is Natalie and as you can see we are back with rebuilding the neighborhood. This time we're doing another tiny home. We're almost on this, just one more tiny home after this and then some community lots and then new crest is done. So exciting. For this pack I decided, uh, of course we have a photo reference, but I wanted to do a container build and I also wanted to use one of the kits, uh, which is the Courtyard Oasis kit. I'm so happy that I remembered the name. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and I looked at it and I was like, there's a lot of blue. So let's use that for the container because we can do that perfectly. Because you have those funky swatches. I absolutely love it. And then we're going to use, use a lot of that pack as much as we can. And I absolutely love the colors. I would have never used blue so much blue i think otherwise and there was no floor plan for this it was just the outside so i was like okay i can just go nuts and it didn't look like it had an upstairs so we just kept everything on the ground my dog is uh, running in circles behind me so maybe you hear that and of course the tiny living pack also has a lot of blue colors in it so it worked out I was just happy with how many plants we could fit in. And I absolutely love how the kitchen turns out in this. Oh, I love blue and I love the wood color. This is absolutely home that I could live in. It just feels so spacious to me, even though there is not a whole or a lot of space here. It's really tiny. It's actually the only house of, yeah, the only house in this neighborhood that I built that is as the first level of the tiny home so you have all the good stuff that comes with it all the perks the window decided to disappear but we put it back so don't worry about that and i did kind of forget until the end to really work on the bathroom so we put in the basics and then i completely forget to finish it And there was a whole darn lot of garden. It's like, okay, there is a new fence that comes with it. So we're definitely going to use that. And there was also new couches and new chairs. It was like, there's no room for that indoors. Because otherwise I couldn't fit the bed. But we end up using it outside. I was like, if you have a tiny home, that doesn't mean that you can't have a kind of a cute little sitting area outside because if you have a tiny home i think you spend more time outdoors at least that's how i look at it, what i think they do the people that live in those homes so i decided to use that there's a little outdoor sitting area and of course the new planters for from the cottage living pack And here we look if we're not going to keep this because I felt like it was kind of a cheat. Like it almost creates another room and I was like, nah, 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 nah. This is just, let's pretend it's outdoor furniture that they can use outside. Of course, we're also going to put the eco stuff in because we're eco-friendly in this neighborhood. And there's room for chickens. <gasps> I'm just so happy with the pack. I'm really happy with cottage living. Not in the let's play. Um, I don't know. I kind of got bored with it. But I like the separate items. And using them in builds. It really makes the place come alive to me. And like I said. Uh, I feel like a lot of people in tiny homes. Just are more outdoorsy people. So we put a lot of activities outside so that your sims can enjoy themselves. And I didn't, except for when I was planting everything outdoors, the plants, I didn't really use move objects because I wanted to make sure that the game thinks it works. And I try to keep calm with, with the plants. So we're staying within the blue, the blue color because I didn't want to make it that crazy and I feel like if I go nuts with colors then 
it can come across as very busy and that's not what I wanted for this home. So basically just one sim can live in it, mainly because there's only room for one sim in the bed. Because they can't crawl over each other. Now here I was like, I remember, here I was like, oh I'm almost done, look at how great it is, it's coming together. Completely forgetting about the bathroom and completely forgetting another thing. Oh no, I did put stuff in. Oh yeah, I did. But I did add the details that I usually would. That first bathtub was very cute, but showering just goes so much faster. Of course we're going to put the number plates on and that's almost already the video. These tiny homes are so quick but the videos are so short and we end up putting some more activities here on the front as well. I just love how this came together so easily and I had so much fun with this build. I absolutely love it. Mainly because of the color scheme. I really like blue and I really like the earthy tones. So yeah, I absolutely love how it turned out. Here you can just sunbathe. Awesome. Let me know what you thought of this build in the comments down below. And I hope to see you in another video. Have a good day. Goodbye.